It is the year 1287. And as Marco, now in the service of the Khan, returns from a mission to Ceylon, the Emperor leads his army against a city that has dared to resist him. Tonton? Oh. Yes, Master Marco. Just so tired. We're all tired. It's been a long journey. Couldn't we perhaps rest a while? No, Tonton. We will soon reach the Khan's camp. Master! Quickly! I see the Khan has wasted no time avenging the death of his ambassadors. squadron to the east wall and mount a diversionary attack. Uh, but, Excellency, it is useless. We must retreat. Retreat? What treason is this? Take care, Akmak. No officer of mine retreats and keeps his head. I meant withdraw, my lord. A temporary measure only. It will give us time for a better plan of attack. Call a council of war. Bring my generals. Withdraw the army out of arrow shot and hold your ground. Death to anyone who falters. Hey, my lord. Ambassador to Ceylon. Greetings, Lord of the Ocean, ruler. Enough, Marco, enough. How are my southern territories? I have a full report here. No, no. Later. Marco, these stubborn Carthians plague me. I cannot breach their walls. They are too high and too strong. We must abandon the attempt. Abandon? My grandfather, Genghis, swept the world clean. He destroyed Moscow and burned Poland. Europe trembled in terror before his mighty armies. And now this one miserable city. Ah, we must crush them! In Europe, we have machines of war. Huh? What? Machines that will humble even the mightiest city. Such things are impossible. Quiet. Continue, Marco. Give me stout timber, rope and leather. Yes, and a hundred skilled carpenters.
That's right. Twist the lever palms. Tighter. Tighter. Master Marco. What is it? This drawing. It's crazy. Oh, no wonder. You've got it upside down. Oh. Now we'll see about those high walls. When the arm is drawn back, it twists the lever. Mm -hmm. Pull the lever. And the stone is released. Aha! And those proud rebels will taste the bitter fruits of defeat. If all goes well, sir. When all goes well, Marco Polo. When? This Venetian trader has grown too strong for my liking. Indeed, he has, sir. I think I shall cut him down to size. You have served me well, Marco. How long is it since you came to my court? Fifteen years, Your Majesty. A long time. You take no pleasure in my service? Yes, yes. But I think constantly of Venice, at home, and personal matters. A eh, good counselor. But I will talk of that later. First, we have a city to take. returns to pay his respects. He has already paid dearly. But what are those weird-looking contraptions? Ah, uh, gifts, perhaps? <laughs> However, I'd better alert the defenses. Man the walls! Man the walls! Those barbarous machines make me feel uneasy. Come, let us go to the temple and ask for a sign of victory. Banquet shall see you justly rewarded. It shall indeed, Marco Polo. It shall indeed. It's hot work capturing cities, Master Marco. Uh, no, Tantan. The Emperor always drinks first. But the Emperor is not as thirsty as I am. Of course. You know what to do? Have I ever failed you? Quick, now. What's wrong, Master? Homesick? Fifteen years. How long will someone wait? I don't know. You can't wait forever. Perhaps she is... Your glass. 
Uh, hmm? uh, oh, thank you. Silence! His Imperial Majesty Kublai Khan, Lord of the Oceans, ruler of the world, will speak. Marco Polo. My lord, my good servant, I well remember how you arrived at my court from a distant land. You placed your great knowledge of the languages and customs of the world at my disposal. You have served me with honesty, devotion, courage and loyalty. For this, I appoint you Imperial Commissioner to the province of Yan'an and Royal Governor of the city of Yangchow. I am deeply honored at such high offices, but high offices bring great responsibilities. And I have three important tasks for you to perform that will tax even your skill and experience. I had hoped, my lord, to be permitted to return to my homeland. No. My lord, I... No. First, you will lead a mission to Yangchow. My people there are becoming restless. I have reports of a rebellion and of bandits ravaging the countryside. Yes, my lord. After that, I will tell you of your next duties. When you have completed all three tasks, perhaps we shall speak of this other matter. Yes, my lord. Enough of formalities. Now let us drink. To the health of the emperor! The For two weeks, Marco Polo lay close to death. On the fifteenth day, Donata, Donata. Who is this Donata? His lady in Venice, madame. He speaks of her sometimes. Greetings, royal princess. And how fares the patient today? Still restless, but he is getting better. He is fortunate in having my father's personal physician. And fortunate indeed to have the emperor's first daughter to attend him. Oh, the wine! The wine! Hmm. He will recover, but he must take some gentle exercise as soon as possible to build up his strength for the long journey. But that will take time. I know, but there have been further reports of trouble in Yang Chao. Khan is anxious that Marco Polo take up his post as soon as possible. Hello, pretty one. Don't worry, Marco. He's quite tame. <laughs> the Khan's children are more dangerous than his animals. But not as dangerous as his enemies, Marco Polo. Take care in young Chow. I will, my lady. Marco Polo, I entrust you with the royal golden tablet. This is the key to the empire. Read the inscription. By the power of the eternal heaven, let the Khan's name be revered. Death to him who disobeys. With my golden passport, you shall be given provisions and fresh horses. Everything you need for your journey. I am honored, my lord. Remember, a full report on the bandits of the province and this threatened uprising. Everything. Yes, my lord. Oh, and my royal deputy, Achmak, is in the city. He will give you every assistance.
Bobby. Hmm. With that escort must be one of the Khan's officials. Ah, uh, yes. The new governor of Yangchow. Sent to put down the rebellion. The Khan would pay well for the life of such an important man. No, they're too close to the city. We'll get him when he returns. You mean if he returns. <laughs> <laughs> Open the gates for the governor of Yang Chow. The governor of the city. Where is Achmak, the royal deputy? At the prison, sir. He has caught the ringleaders of the rebellion. Take me to him. You will need a guard. The streets are not safe at night. Ring the first bell curfew. At the three bells curfew, no person may leave his house. I will provide a guide and escort. And send a patrol to me at the prison, at three bells, to check my safe arrival. I shall question them myself. You dare usurp the authority of the royal deputy? I am the governor of this city. I have the emperor's warrant. My lord, the people live in terror. No man is safe here. So I have found. But why? The Khan's officers are corrupt. They bribe. They steal the taxes. They buy great estates. They murder all who stand in their way. Lies! But who is responsible? That man! They are fools! Don't listen to him! Wait. Have you bought estates in this province? Of course. I am entitled to. All government officials may engage in trade. This year, the revenue from Yang Chao dropped by seven million pieces of gold. This estate of yours, how much did it cost? This is my business. I will not be questioned like... like, like a peasant. I shall find out anyway. Tonton? Go to the Keeper of Records and... Stop! in this city. He has escaped. Then he must be found. He is an enemy of the Khan. Master Marco, sometimes I wish I were a simple farmer again. And sometimes I wish I were still a simple merchant. It is the decree of Kublai Khan, your emperor, that there is to be no commerce in gold or silver coin. For all trading, you will use the Khan's paper currency. Buying and selling must be fair and honest. The penalty for dishonesty is death. <gasps> the duty on spices is three and a half percent, and ten percent for wool, silk, and grain. Tradesmen and artisans will work one day a week for the emperor. The proceeds of this labor will be distributed to the poor. 
The poor and unemployed will receive each four measures of wheat, barley, rice, and all and these laws, decrees, and regulations must be obeyed at all times and in every respect. Indeed, sir, they will be. And remember, the great Khan rules with justice. Gentlemen, my work is complete now. I must report to the Emperor. Take care, sir. This sort of weather suits the desert bandits. We shall travel too fast for them. Farewell. Valuable man. The Khan will pay well to save your life. And if he doesn't pay, you die. Whether I'm alive or dead, you will be punished. That's true. He's too dangerous a lie. Let's kill him now. No, I have a better idea. We'll let the desert kill him. you love this Darzan, love has nothing to do with the matter. But I... You shall marry Arkhan, I tell you. And I will have my alliance with the king of Persia. No, that is all. Excellent report. And I shall deal with these bandits. You have done well, Marco Polo. Thank you, my lord. But if I could raise the matter of my return to Venice, it would... Don't cross me. I have said you must wait. Have you forgotten this second task I am entrusting to you? No, my lord. Have patience, then. You will make a leisurely tour of my province of Yanan. In my travels as a merchant, I studied the peoples of the south. They are peaceful and prosperous. Under my protection, they are. And to keep it thus, I need information. My policies depend on what my administrators tell me of trade and revenue and... But you know what to do. Indeed. Marco, Marco, why those long looks? Ah, the affairs of state weigh too heavy on you, I see. Come riding with me tomorrow. It will lighten your burdens. I am honored, my lord.
preparations for my spring hunt. Look at those beauties. No beast is more swift than they. Behold, the king of beasts is subject to the car. And those? My hunting eagles. They can even take a wolf, Marco. Behold my summer palace, Xanadu, all marble and gold. A jewel, eh, Counselor? It is beautiful, my lord. Parks for 16 miles, and there... Dispatch from the governor of Yanan. Yanan? What is this? The king of Burma invading my provinces? Call a meeting of the twelve warlords. At once, Excellency. So they want to steal my provinces. Oh, we shall see. So, this upstart king of Burma dares to make war on Kublai Khan. What power has he? Narathi has 60,000 men and 2,000 elephants, Excellency. What is our own strength? Nasa Odin, your general, has 12,000 mounted archers in Yanan, Excellency. And my own personal armies? Your first and third armies are at the Caspian Sea, chastising the steppe tribes. Too far. The second army is still in Cathay, Excellency, on the coast. Eight weeks hard ride. I do not have eight weeks. Make plans for the immediate recall of the second army. You are dismissed. Excellency. You know these Burmese, Marco? I do, my lord. Good. While I organize my force, you will take dispatches to Nasa Udin. You will ride immediately. <laughs> here, use it to scare them off. Stand back. But... I don't know about the tigers, Master Marco. But it certainly scared me. Master Odin! Our oh, General! Wait! Nasser Udin must wait. I have some work to do first. Two thousand elephants and how many men? Sixty thousand foot soldiers, General. We are outnumbered five to one. 
But we must fight. The Khan will not accept defeat. Then I will plan for victory. If I meet them here in the Taiping Valley, I could fall back to this forest. And if they follow? The beasts will be trapped in the forest, and my cavalry will attack from both flanks. General, I think the Khan would approve. back now to lead them to the ambush. Yes, General. But what of the enemy? Fled or captured, and their elephants are trapped in the forest. The day is ours. The Khan must know of this victory at once. I did not know of your illness. I am not ill. In any case, the news of my victory has aided my recovery. Marco, come here. I'm getting old. If I die, your own life will be in danger. My lord, I... No, listen. You must leave Cathay. But what of my third task? Your third and final task is to escort the princess Kokachin to Persia. She is to marry King Arkham. Persia? Yes where you will be nearly home. You will be given the most suitable ships for a long voyage. Make all your preparations immediately. Last of the provisions. Oh, I have a chart you ordered. Uh, the South China Sea, the Gulf of Tonkin, the Straits of Malacca. Good. Then I'm ready to take my leave of the car. Take your leave of the world, you dog! the Emperor's deputy. But the innocent I... have nothing to fear. For the guilty, the Khan's justice is swift and terrible. Take him away. My lord, I shall remember you to all the world as the greatest ruler of men.
below. The meal's ready. Oh, Master Marco, I'm not hungry. I will never eat another meal the rest of my life. with the wind. Look out. Report. Oh, well, sir. Wind dropping. Let's hope it doesn't drop too much. We have a long way to go. The longer, the better. Your Highness, why are you so unhappy? I don't want to marry the old king, but I must do my father's bidding. I love another. The Prince Gazan? His likeness? I keep it with me always. Perhaps he will wait. Perhaps he will. The lady of your heart, is she still waiting? After all this time? I don't think so. Ah! Ah! The Straits of Malakasan. Mm. And over there, the coast of Sumatra. <laughs> Storm clouds. There's some heavy weather coming. That's just what we need. Master Marco, the sealer's life is not for me. So I've noticed, Danton. Nothing but fire. Then we'll keep these burning every night. Have you seen the princess? Yes, sir. She's over there near those trees. The torch. a strong guard, Lieutenant, or will none of us sleep tonight? <laughs> if all goes well, you shall soon meet the King of Persia. My new husband. Your Royal Highness, the King of Persia anxiously awaits his bride. Your Majesty, the Princess Cockatoo. <gasps> Prince Gazan! King Gazan. Aghan is dead. I am the new ruler of Persia. But come, we have much to discuss and a marriage to arrange. 
As the great Khan commands, you are free to return to Venice. For your services, the Emperor has ordered that you be given gold, silver and jewels. A great treasure. The Khan is too generous. And I shall provide you with pack animals and a royal guard to the port of Trebizond on the Black Sea. And Marco, we have already sent messengers ahead. A galley will be waiting to take you to Venice. I cannot believe it. After all this time, it's so long. I've lost count of the years. Lady Donata, marry me, I beg of you. Marco Polo will return. He's dead. He must be dead. I know he will return from the greatest journey by any man. No, no. The Polos are all liars and braggarts. Return with silk and spices. But I have ships and warehouses. I am rich and respectable. Marco! I'm home, home. Marco Polo's return to Venice in 1295 ended one of the world's most amazing journeys. He returned with stories of the wealth, culture and civilizations of Asia. His travels earned for Marco Polo a place in history as the most remarkable adventurer of all time.